Hi, welcome to another episode of Aquatic Australia. I'm your host, Sharky Jones, and today we'll be diving from the boat Ballaton Jack out in Rotnest. Today we're diving on the north side of Rotnest. The weather was quite choppy and quite wet and rough getting over there, but the swell was under 10 seconds, very short, so it doesn't get down deep and throw you around. Instead, underwater was totally calm today. Today's dive wasn't defined by any one species of fish, but lots of interesting fish, like these gorgeous antheas we see here. Our first interesting thing we saw was a nudibranch, always one of my favourites, Chromodorus West Australiensis. A nudibranch or sea slug named after the state of Western Australia. Ahead we spot one of our divers, Sean, hunting for craze in amongst the rocks. One of our top cray fishermen, he can find crays where few others can. On the side of the reef, Eric, my buddy and I, land on a sand patch. And we start stirring up the sand a little bit, digging, trying to bring in a large stingray. As usual, all the wrasses come in. This is a Maori wrasse, named after his uh, face markings like the tattoos on a Maori warrior. Our wrasse friend gets a bit excited looking for food and starts trying to pick parasites off Eric. And Eric gets a small but painless nip. The visibility today is truly wonderful fly over fields and alpine pastures and so it seems full of kelp and overhangs and caves and soon we see a small school of squirrelfish. At the top of the reef we find a large cave and in the distance hiding at the bottom I notice one of my favorite one of the most beautiful fish we have a harlequin bass. These shy fish are excellent dinner table fish, which is why they must be so shy. With a slow approach, our harlequin bass appears to vacillate in his decision-making process for a while, and then realizes we're not a threat, and calms back down for us. We get quite a long time to film him, unusually so. But eventually his patience spent, he departs. Apparently. Inside the cave, Eric studies a beautiful Gorgonian soft coral. Descending on our second dive, down to 15 meters, we drop down right in front of a western blue devilfish. Now these guys we see very often, but there's something about this guy. Not quite right, and I get in close and have a look. Then I realize he's being cleaned. Normally, little cleaner wrasse are striped with a blue and yellow color. They set up cleaning stations, as you can see with this blue groper, and they will pick the parasites off a large fish. And these cleaning wrasse are regularly seen everywhere. But here, I realize it's being cleaned by a much tinier fish, a tiny, tiny goby, and one I actually saw for the first time on my last dive. I haven't managed to establish his identity yet, but these tiny blennies or gobies, I didn't know they would act as cleaners. We first saw this fellow on the 26th of January in our previous video, as we'll show you now. Here we see one sitting on a soft sponge. So we'll 
fish getting cleaned must be like having a hot bath or a shower. And afterwards, he obviously feels a little hungry and starts looking for food. We leave our friendly devilfish and we head east from our site in a straight line. And as we do, we find ourselves going through a, a landscape of boulders where caves once stood and the walls fell in. Leaving now a series of gullies that with a five or six meter drop on them. Some of them, like this one, even look like being in the crater of a volcano. We leave the crater finally by what would have been the way in an entrance tunnel into what would have once been a large, large cave. After the first bowl, we continue east and find more collapsed caves and gullies. Old wives are strikingly reminiscent of Amazonian angelfish, freshwater. Their dorsal fin is actually hollow and contains poison in a spike, just like a scorpion fish. Find a nice sized lobster in a hole. Underneath the overhangs, in the shadow, what looks dark and gloomy and not very interesting actually turns out to be full of yellows and oranges and reds once lit up. These are all usually sponges, but there are also, I'm surprised to see, Acropora hard coral. This is a type of staghorn hard coral you normally only see up in Bali. There's a lot of other hard coral, plate corals, all on the top of the reef on this site. It's joyful to see so much hard coral around. Finishing our dive, we see that our dive skipper, James, or Fossil as he's known, has caught himself a huge cray, and he's happy he's got his dinner tonight. Well, that's all for today on Aquatic Australia. Thanks for joining us. Come back and see us next time. In the meantime, have a great day. I'm your host, Sharky Jones.